Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back into the channel. Today we're going to be talking about ways to save up gold, but before we get into that, um, I want to quickly talk to you guys about um, this tweet right here that Rick tweeted. Um, he's the community manager for Supercell. He tweeted this out that they're trying to fix the gold system, so of course they're working on it. it says just give me, give us more time. But yesterday he tweeted um, that the update would be coming soon and that he's super excited for it. So if I had to guess for him saying that, I'm assuming this update's coming out next week. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Do all that good stuff because as soon as we get the news, of course, I will be making a video on it and playing the new update because I'm super excited for it. I'm excited to see what they're going to uh, change things up, make the, the game a little better. Uh, but anyway, let's get into what we're talking about today. Um, we're talking about how we're going to save up gold because I'm at 15000 right now. I need 20,000. I think a lot of people are in this boat right now trying to get to HQ5. We've got to get there, man. We've got to get to HQ5 because I want all that stuff. The invisible spell, fantastic. The hero, eh. But that this trooper spell, amazing. So we've got to save up some gold. So, of course, what I've done is upgrade-wise, if I use them, I upgrade them. If I don't, I don't. Of course, the ninja's upgraded. My shield men are upgraded. Oh, I can actually upgrade them. <laughs> uh, but I'm I may upgrade my shield guys, but not not right now. Um, and then secondly, I think a lot of people skip over this is domination. You get a lot of free gold with domination. Domination is like finding a fantastic base with fifty plus gold every single time. So I highly, 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 highly encourage you to do all your domination attacks every single day just keep them going keep them going keep them going because that's that's a couple hundred gold for just doing your domination attacks usually like in this last one i did i did four attacks i think i wind up getting like almost just over 300 gold so obviously really worth it um and then the next thing i'm going to show you here um it costs 10 gold for me to attack obviously and the key here is just attack whatever base you get first you're not gonna Skipping a base, like if I had skipped a base and gotten to this one, and I one star this one, I've only made two gold. Um, so it's not really worth it. So what we're going to do, I'm still using this crazy attack strategy that I made a video on like two days ago. You guys should definitely check that out if you didn't. Um, but alright, let's do... Our goal, of course, for this attack strategy is we want to draw these guys down. Um, that way our ninja can just run up top and, and do its thing. Um, so... Of course, right now I can only really one or two star bases um, if I'm lucky. So I'm really trying. I'm really, really, really trying to get to HQ5 right now. I haven't been playing a whole lot this week because I've had a lot of tests in school and stuff. Um, but uh, I will be grinding this weekend. I should, sh should. I hope, man. I really hope I'm going to HQ5 very soon. So I'm gonna drop. I guess there's no point in dropping my last ninja. It's not gonna get me any gold or anything. Um, and of course. Even, you gotta remember too, even if you just hit a gold storage once or twice, you get a couple free gold. And uh, that's honestly, that's pretty good. That saved me in gold a couple times. Saved me uh, the search cost. Uh, if I had to guess for this update of what they're gonna do, I would assume that what they're gonna do is take away the cost that it, um, for attacking. That's what I would do if I was like, all right, how can we help the gold system? That's one way that we could really help the gold system um, is to just take away the cost. So right here, of course, boom, that's it. I've got my gold. I've got my one star. I know I can't three star this base. Just take it and run. Sometimes if I do that and I get a ninja on and it takes out the gold storage, I'll use the spell on another gold storage just to get like two gold out of it and that really helps me save up. Let's do one more so we can open up a crate here. Um, but I just, I know a lot of people are having gold troubles is what I'm going to call it <laughs> uh, because of bases like this. Zero gold. Zero. So obviously this is, it, in my opinion, it's not even worth attacking. Um, unless you're just star pushing, but if I skip, then I spent 20 gold, and the likelihood of me finding a base where I'm going to get more than 20 gold is really low. So I might as well just attack this. And we're just going to use the one unit um, right here just to go in. Ninja, take him out. 
And then, like, if this base had any gold in it, I would do that, like, with my spell up there. So I would just get an extra gold or two. Uh, but that's it didn't work out that way. And, of course, of course, when you don't use all of your troops and you three-star, or if you three-star without using all your spells, which is impossible for me to do anymore, you get more gold at the end of the raid. So keep that in mind. Like, if you don't need to play your, your spell, don't. Save it. Save it. You get an extra, like, 20 gold or something. It's an awesome bonus in the game. So it's definitely worth doing that. Um, let's do... I don't know. I just want to do a couple more attacks here. So... Huh. I might be able to two-star this base if we play this right. We want you to go up here. I need you guys to run farther up. There you go. Yeah, get out of my zone. Get out. All right, ninja's going in. I really want this ninja if... I don't know. If this ninja can take out this mortar and... I don't know. Now the turret's going to kill him. But hopefully he'll get a swing on this gold storage. Get me an extra couple gold. Nope, not going to happen. Turret little too strong. Uh, I'm hoping there's a lot of balancing in this update as well, obviously. I think there's... The gorillas are too weak. The turrets are too strong. The Obviously, the uh, lasers are too strong. I've been preaching that for years. So, just doing this over the course of an hour. You're not going to gain a lot of gold doing this. Um, it's just the nature of the gain. Of the gain. The game... Um, and someone actually pointed out on Reddit in a video I posted earlier that in the whole video I did like eight attacks and I only gained like 20 something gold. Um, so you really can't rely on attacking to get you your gold. It's, I rely on domination to get me my gold, doing all those attacks every single day because it's like 300 gold or so. Or you just have to play forever. You have to play a really long time. All right, let's draw them up one more time. The only problem is my ninja might go for the turret here, and we might not even start. But it doesn't really matter because, well, there's no gold in this base. Yeah, so we're not even going to get a star here, which is unfortunate. Um, but it happens. It happens from time to time. I'm just going to send him in and see if it can happen. Even if he does take out the turret, the mortar will kill this little ninja before we can get there. Because the mortar's like super glitched. <laughs> the mortar, like, if you go into the range of the mortar and then run out of the range of the mortar, it still shoots at you. So, hopefully that's something they fix too. Um, the game's a beta, so I'm not saying this ruins the game. Um, but anyway, guys, that's really going to do it for today. Um, I wanted to talk about the update. I wanted to talk about how you could save up some gold, because I know a lot of people are struggling with that. Um, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Of course, if you're new, you made it this long. Subscribe, like, do all that good YouTube stuff. Let me know down in the comments any decks you want to see. Hopefully, we'll get to HQ5 very shortly, and I can start making content for HQ5. Um, anyway, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.